But let's go to Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. So to the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So honor thy father and thy mother. So what does honor mean? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. How respect, esteem. If you look down, you are going to see right here. Regard with great respect. So when you respect someone, are you going to say mean things to them? No. Are you going to be rude with them? No. Are you going to be sassy and all this other stuff with your parents when you respect them? No. So when you respect your parents or someone, you are going to talk to them nicely. You are not going to cheat them or steal anything from them. You are not going to tell them off and tell them how much of a failure that they were in your childhood and stuff like that. You are not going to say that. But Kevin, what if they are really rude and mean and everything to me? People's treatment towards you is not a determining factor on how you should treat them. So just because some people are really rude to you, really mean to you, or cheat you and steal from you, does not mean that you have to be negative toward them. If you do what God wants you to do, he is going to bless you for it. If a person does not do what they are supposed to do toward you, they are going to get cursed. I pray that this makes sense. So let's say that it is true that your parents are really rude or mean to you. Okay, you still have to respect your parents. But if I do good to them, they are just going to continue to be mean to me. Who cares? Who really cares? Because do you know what? If you do what is right, God is going to bless you for it. If your parents continue to do what is wrong, they are going to continue to get cursed. So how do you lose? Tell me. Tell me. When you do what God wants you to do, he blesses you for it. So how do you lose? Unless you have pride. Well, you know, I don't want to treat a person right when they are treating me wrongly because that hurts my pride. Well, you have an issue then. You should not have pride in that aspect. So I pray that this makes sense. We have to honor our parents, whether they are really good or really bad, whether they have some bad things going on or have good things going on. It does not matter. We have to honor them no matter what. We have to respect them. It does not mean that you have to be over their house 24-7 and cooking them food every day, all day. I am not saying that, but we have to respect our parents no matter what. Whether they are good or bad, it really does not matter. So I pray that this makes sense. And if you disobey, or not disobey, but if you disrespect your parents, more bad things are going to happen to you. And if your parents disrespect you, bad things are going to happen to them. So who really wins? The demons do, right? Think about that. It is the demons within you or your parents that is making 
you all treat each other really poorly. So if your parents are treating you really wrongly and you are not respecting your parents, who is winning? Demons. So why are you going to allow demons to win? Like I always say, it is not the person that is your enemy, it is the demon behind the person that is influencing that person. So why would you fight a puppet? If you break that puppet, what is that demon going to do? Go to another puppet. So you fight the puppeteer, not the puppet. I pray that makes sense there. You do war with the puppeteer, not the puppet. The human is the puppet. You don't fight the puppet. You do warfare against the puppeteer, the demon. What if you were to shoot as many puppets as possible? What is the puppeteer going to do? Go to another puppet. So what is the use? Think about that. Think about that. It is not the person. It is the demon influencing, possessing that person. So you have a problem with those demons, not the person. Respect your parents. Fight against the demons, not your parents. Because why? They are puppets. <laughs> I pray this makes sense. Humans are not your enemies. It is demons. Demons are our enemies. Well, Kevin, you know, I don't believe in demons. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, God bless.